<laughs> all right, well, we have all done it, left the house or the apartment, and then you get to thinking about whether you locked the door, whether you turned off the stove, whether you left the faucet running. We've all done it. A British computer whiz has a solution involving, believe it or not, Twitter. Rory Kellen Jones of the BBC reports. A 16th century cottage on the Isle of Wight, but there's more to this lovely home than meets the eye. It's talking to the World Wide Web. Bathroom heater turned off. Security system, window open. Like millions of people, this house uses the Twitter messaging service. Caught a mouse in the study. The house belongs to an IBM engineer, Andy Stanford Clark. He's installed sensors recording everything from energy use to the workings of that mousetrap. He's then linked the whole system to Twitter, meaning he can monitor his home wherever he is. One simple question, why? Um, I find it very useful for a number of reasons. Um, one good example was the, the water meter twitters every time we use 100 litres of water. And one time the, the end flew off the hose pipe, so it was leaking water all over the garden. And I got three SMSs in a row from Twitter saying 100 litres used, 200 litres used, 300 litres used. So Andy's able to follow what's happening at his house from around the world, and so can I. I've just seen uh, his water meter reading 378.7 cubic metres. But there are plenty of other objects talking to the internet. So. Tower Bridge says, I am opening for the MV Dixie Queen, which is passing downstream. A houseplant in New York, believe it or not, says, urgent, water me. The Isle of Wight ferry has also been linked to Twitter so passengers can follow the timetable. And this telescope at Jodrell Bank tells people where it's pointing. It sounds bizarre, but could it be a vision of the future? We're moving towards an Internet of Things, as it's called, where little devices, thousands, millions, trillions of them maybe, will be connected to the Internet, each telling us about one little piece of data that they know about. And by mining that sea of data, we can make information and knowledge about the world that we're in. Who knows where it will end, perhaps with the dog tweeting to the house to be let in. Rory Catlin-Jones, BBC News on the Isle of Wight.